So in my previous watch interface run through of the Sunto 9 Peak Titanium, it was pretty well received and I've decided to do also a similar one for the Sunto 5 Peak since there are not many out there who talks about how to properly navigate these watches or how they look like inside. So with that said, let's run through how the entire interface of the watch looks like. So let's start off with the uh, watch interface of the Sunto 5 Peak. So there is only one way to interact with this watch and that is through all the buttons that you have here. So there is no touch screen on this watch so that could either be a good thing or not so a good thing for you. I personally think buttons are better for watches like that since when I'm cycling I have my gloves on, touch screens are just not so effective. So at the home page here of the watch thanks to the matrix style display you notice that the watch display is always on and they don't turn off. The only thing that will change here is the brightness of the screen so if you tilt it a little bit you can see it gets darker but it's not turned off it's just darker because there's no light reflecting off it but if you turn it to the light source then it gets really bright and this is especially smart because the brighter your surrounding is uh, if you're outdoors then the clearer the watch will look so the first thing that you see on your homepage is your watch face and Sunto lets you choose from a couple of different ones to suit your style. So to change the watch face, you need to press on the top button here to get to the settings. So keep pressing until you reach settings. Once you're in settings, you can press the middle button and it will enter. And then you scroll all the way down to the last one, which is watch faces. So this is not like your traditional smartwatch where it's easy for you to change your watch interface. So here, once you go in, you can choose from all the different Different styles that you have and once you pick something that you like then you can uh, press the middle button again and you can set it so the next thing they're gonna do is ask you to choose from a uh an array of colors. They're not very vibrant colors, but at least there's some color to it. So once you choose that, you can press on the bottom button here to go back to your home screen. And once you're back at your home screen, you can see that the watch face is changed. And if you shine it to the light, you can see how beautiful that looks. So the general menu here looks really similar to all Sunto watches. So to access the menu here, press on the top button and you can actually and you can scroll through some of the menu items. So the first one you see is exercise and then next you're going to get navigation navigation, you're also going to get logbook, timer, and your settings. So inside your exercise, you're going to get to choose from a list of your favorite exercise. So this is all customizable in the app so you can sequence which are your favorite sports so you can access them easily. For me personally, I prefer cycling a lot so that's my first one. So to start it, press the middle button again and you can start your workout and you can start and you can see that it starts searching for GPS and in this case, because I'm indoors, it doesn't detect a GPS so I can just dismiss it. And in order for me to stop I'll just press the top button here and I can end the workout and that's basically how you save your workouts so once you're done it will provide you with a summary of your workout so you can look through it uh, it'll give you information of your heart rate and your intensity zone and once you're done you can press on this bottom button here and you can go back so under the navigation menu which is the next one this is where you'll be able to calibrate your compass and if you have previously saved routes on your Sunto app it also gets synced over here so one good thing about this is that once you created a route in your Sunto app and if you even you have 10 watches, it will all sync to them and you can use all your routes inside here. So this is the wheel tester again. So the next one will be your logbook information to see all your past activities. So yesterday I also did a two hour mountain biking ride uh, and it also says how many kilometers you've done. And if you click inside again and it tells you more information. So this is my workout summary for my ride yesterday. So pretty cool details here. So you can see, you can run through, it tells you your heart rate, your speed, your intensity zone, how long you hover in each heart rate, and so on and so forth. So it's pretty cool uh, feature to have in the logbook. So after the logbook, you're gonna get a timer feature. This timer feature actually hides a stopwatch inside as well. So if you press the button inside, you're gonna be in your stopwatch mode. So you can just press and it will start your stopwatch. You can also stop it and reset it. And if you want to go into a timer instead of a stopwatch, press on the bottom button and you can choose either to go into stopwatch or you can set your timer. It's not very flexible. It's in like one minute, three minute, five minutes interval, but at least you have some features there. So to go back, just press on the bottom button and you can go back. So next after that is your settings, which is similar to what we saw earlier. And if you click inside, there are quite a lot of things that you can choose from. So inside general, there are a lot of uh, simple changes that you can do to your watch. 
uh, which is really convenient so you don't have to adjust everything from the app itself and at the bottom here you can also set your alarms natively so next you're going to have your connectivity this is where you can also uh, connect to your different sensors bluetooth sensors and also clear your paired device if any so next today you're going to get navigation and this is where you can set your gps position format and your gps system and next under activity you're going to get to set your target activities so here you can set your daily heart rate whether or not you have 24 7 turn on uh, your steps per day your calories per day and so on and so forth next under training you can set your weekly workout goals and intensity zone and you can also set your sleep tracking goals at the bottom here so that the watch knows what time you want to start going to sleep so below that you can also set whether or not you want your media control as well as notifications currently for the review i turned it off uh, but usually i will have my notifications coming in and lastly is watch faces which we looked at earlier so that's the entire menu system of the Suunto 5 Peak. So the next one that we're going to take a look is the widgets in your watch. So in order to access your widgets, all you're going to do is press the bottom button and you're going to get quite a few informations to see. So the first one that you're going to see is your heart rate. And if you press in the middle button again, it will go into a more detail to show you trends of your heart rate. Uh, how does it look like and so on and so forth. And you can press this to go back. Next to heart rate, you're going to get your stress and recovery tracker. So same thing here, when you swipe to the right again, then this is where you're going to see your recovery of your resources. So yesterday I was out for a ride, so now I'm still in recovering mode. So this gives you a very good indication of when your next workout should be and what, how to have better nutrition to in, improve recovery, have more protein and stuff like that. So next to that, you're going to get your pedometer as well to track your steps. And if you go to the right, you're also going to get a seven day uh, view of your steps which is really interesting so next to that you're also going to see your weekly training uh, summary and also training plan so you also can have your own training plan inside the Sunto app and you can visit their website for more information about that and below that you're going to get your sleep tracking information on your past sleep patterns uh, and you can see that my sleeping is really not on point and I really don't have a lot of sleep my, my average sleeping time is about five hours plus to four hours plus so yesterday was four and a half hours so that's all of the widgets you're gonna get with this watch so the app interface did not change compared to when I was reviewing the 9 peak. So at the home page here, you're going to get information about all your progress and your health information. So clicking on any one of them will open up uh, a summary of your activities, uh, which includes your resources, your heart rate, your steps, your total workouts and activities for the month and so on. And at the bottom here, you're going to get some information about your workouts and stuff like that. On the top left itself, if you click on the watch there, this is where you can start syncing your watch and every time you click in here all your latest activities get synced into the watch and if you scroll down a little bit you're going to see sports mode customization and this is where you can edit all the different sports modes uh, that you typically use and you can choose from a total of 80 different sports so what i really like here is that if you click into uh, any of the screens you can then customize how each of the screen will want to look like for the first spot screen for my cycling this is what i can uh, track you can obviously change any of this which is super interesting informational you can scroll again so this is when you press the button on your watch it will go to the next page and the next page and so on and you can add many different pages uh, to a particular sport so on the next tab is your calendar so this is where it will show you all your active days and you can see all the activities inside here and if i were to click on a particular exercise and you can see all the information about it uh, where did i go how did it look like and if i click on this play button which is really interesting because i like this feature here and what you get to do is to retrace how your activity actually went uh, on a specific day uh, what is the area that you walk around or cycle around and in this case I went to Bukit Kiara for a bike ride uh, very interesting and if you scroll up here it will show you information about your heart rate and your speed and you can scroll through uh, each of this and you can see at what point how your heart rate was what your speed was and so on and so forth so this is a superb informational screen that i really like so on the next screen itself you're going to get information about your diary so here you can look back in your diary and look at your activities your steps your calories your sleep information and all of those cool stuff if 
I were to click into sleep, and you can see this is my average uh, sleeping time. So if I were to click on any one of them, it will tell me how I fall short, how bad was my sleep, uh, whether or not my resources was recharged, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty much my daily sleep schedule. Uh, next to that, you're going to get a map. Uh, this is also where you can plan your routes and sync them to your watch so you can use them. And on the last page itself, this is where you can find your friends, check your leaderboard and also some additional settings. So that's pretty much all the features you get in the Suunto app. So in terms of the heart rate monitor, it is pretty accurate for the most part comparing it to my Apple Watch as well as the a dedicated oximeter. So you're probably getting one or two BPM variants. Of course, this is between the different synchronization times, so you will see a difference there. And I think that that's still pretty good considering the reliability of this watch for sports tracking. I do trust its measurement because I'm used to what my heart rate is during my cycling and I think that's pretty accurate. So I hope this video gives you a better view into the watch and understand how the UI and everything else works before you buy this watch. And if you haven't checked out my review on the Suunto 5 Peak, do check it out on a video right up here. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.